guest from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which ended its second season tonight. One is an author of this book called Never Make the Same Mistake Twice. The other has a hit song called Tardy for the Party. <laughs> and I should also mention they hate each other. Please welcome NeNe Leakes and Kim Zolciak. <laughs> Thank you for not being tardy to the party. How you doing? For being right on time. I'm doing well. I heard you guys talk to my parents backstage on the mm -hmm. telephone. Is that true? Mm -hmm. They told me all about you when you were a little boy. Oh, they did, huh? <laughs> my mom is obsessed with your show. Really? Which is weird because she never really likes anything uh, at all. And oh. um, she's obsessed with it and made me sit down last weekend and took me through it step by excruciating step, <laughs> explaining every detail of your lives. But I thought that perhaps I would ask you guys to explain. Well, first of all, what, why, you guys used to be friends, as I understand. Mm -hmm. Why are you not friends anymore? We're here together. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> But boxers are in the same ring together also. It doesn't mean that they're friends. <laughs> what, are you telling us that you've, you've made up or something in the time since the show stopped taping? Mm, we're cool. What don't you like about each other? We like each other a lot. We, we a have lot? a lot of chemistry. Probably too much, and that's probably the problem. You think that's what it is? Probably. That seems so unlikely. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I understand that it's uncomfortable to talk about that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> do you... Um, do you vacation together? No. <laughs> we should. You should go No, on. but it's no, sort of like we vacation together yeah. because we do a lot of appearances right. together, and this is not our home. So it's sort of like a vacation. Wouldn't it be a fun, like, spin-off show, and it'd be easy mm -hmm. to shoot if, like, <laughs> They trapped the two of you in an elevator together. Okay. No, like, I don't like elevators. For like she three doesn't even get in the elevator. She walks the stairs. All right, a refrigerator. <laughs> even worse. Even worse. If there's food, I yeah. might be able to do it. All right, so that idea is out. But I'll come up some, with some other things. This song. Let's talk about the song "Tardy for the Party." Is that based on a true story? Did it? My daughter originally wrote the lyrics. Why is everybody laughing? Yeah. Why is that so funny? Well, because it rhymes. <laughs> Well, it is because my daughter was nine when she came up with the actual Tardy for the Party and wrote the song. She wanted a country song. Mm -hmm. Candy took the song and made it a pop song and rewrote 90% of the lyrics and just kind of kept the Tardy for the She's Party. She's on the show with you. She made it into like a real song. She put the backing it's vocals. It's doing fantastic. <laughs> I'm number three on the iTunes. That's what I heard. The dance track. That's what I heard. And I heard thank that. you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Nini, you wrote... You've written a book on which yeah. you got a quote from Anderson Cooper. <laughs> it's surprising, but uh, yeah. It is? Why well, is it? yeah, it is. Why? He likes the show. Because usually when I see Anderson Cooper, he's over in like um, Bahrain or something <laughs> like that, and you don't really think of him watching uh, The Real Housewives and following you. Really? Your... Well, what he told us was that he is the news, so when he's home watching TV, he likes to watch junk TV. So. Anderson Cooper actually said, I am the news? Yeah, he is the news. I mean, he reports the news. He's the news. What an egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I do want to ask you a couple of things, and mm -hmm. I have a couple of questions for my mother, actually, as well. First of all, your Could you wigs. bring me home to mama like this, or should I dress in something different? She would never release you. Could I? Oh, yeah, no. Well, I mean, you know, because you're a celebrity on her favorite show, she mm -hmm. would be excited we by it. We talked about it. I said, I can't really afford much but a Big Mac. And she mm -hmm. said, I got the Chardonnay. I said, I got the Big Mac. That's our deal. I don't believe the afford thing, because you wear, uh, according to the show I saw last week, a different wig every day. I know. And these wigs cost, like, like $500, $800? Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. But now I have my own wig line. See this? Mm -mm -mm. This is twelve thousand so, dollars worth of wigs well, a it month. It used to be no, because synthetic hair is kind of like Mattel. You know, like that mm -hmm. shiny plastic hair, right? Mm -hmm. So then now I have my wig line, KZ Locks. Of course, we all and, have a wig line. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna make you <laughs> one. I'm gonna do like something blonde, bleached out for you. Yeah. Well, I change every day, but I always wear this one. And so. <laughs> Who pays twelve thousand dollars? Who pays for this? Do you well, that pay was for back this? Back in the day, I mean, no, no, I steal it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I what mean, do you think? I'm, yeah, of course. Where do you get that kind of money to spend twelve thousand dollars on wigs? I guess I'm good at whatever I was Did. doing with Papa. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, what do you want me to say to that? Have you ever met Big Papa, Nini? I have. Big Papa is the, your boyfriend. No, 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 no. That's ex. That's done. 
Oh, that's done. Yeah. You were so now I have my own wig line now. I, I can only wear that. I wear this every day. So you tossed him out once you got your own wig company? Oh, <laughs> come on. No, no, no. He's not your wig guy anymore. He has nothing to do with my wig line. He has no part in it whatsoever. All right. Okay. I'm confused. I don't either. Let me go to my question for my mother because she understands okay. this more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nini, do you believe your newfound biological father just came out of the woodwork to be on TV, or what do you think is his reasoning for this? I thought that was interesting when I yeah. saw you go there. I'm not exactly sure, and I don't know that he's my biological father. We've not taken a DNA test. I just met him. Do you That's suspect all. that he is? I do suspect that he is. You do. And you're going to take a DNA test on the Maury Povich show, or you do that on your own? <laughs> No, we we'll do it on your show. You do it? Oh, I would love to have you do that on my show. And then... <laughs> my mom wanted to know how it is that you, um, what did she say, that you explained being engaged to someone who was married, your <laughs> ex-boyfriend was married, and you got engaged to him. That's why it's not, we're not together. Like, I mean, it's just, that's not really smart. When a guy gives you if an engagement... If he's married, he gives you an engagement ring, that just shows me that I'm just set up for just a path of just destruction. It's a mess. Oh, so you really, you've thought about it, and you said, no, this is not a good idea, and I'm not going to go... I mean, I bought into a lot of this stuff because my heart was in it for a very... To be honest with you, you know, all jokes aside, my heart was in it. But then you give me a ring, and I was and I was led to believe that this divorce would be final, and or it was final. And then I find out, like, 30 days later, I was like, you give me a ring, which... I mean, a pretty big ring, which means a commitment. Like, who does that? And then I just realized, you know... It's that really. the ring didn't mean a thing? Could be the next tune, <laughs> by the way. For the <laughs> big follow-up to Tardy for the party. The ring didn't mean a thing. Remember me when it happens. The well, ring didn't mean a thing. That's cute. Well, thank you guys. That for, is cute. The ring didn't mean a thing. That's yours. You can have that. That's you don't even have to thank cut you. me in on it. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, you guys have to pay you, huh? for coming. No, you don't have to pay me a dime. <laughs> Nene and Kim, everybody. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Tardy for the party.